Isang agamisi na araw sa inyong lahat mga kabida agham. Welcome sa ating Science 8 Itulay Session on TV. Ako po si Tutor Marky mula sa SDO Bulacan. At ako ang inyong makakasama sa isang kapanapanabik na episode na siguradong kayo ay mag-e-enjoy at matututo. Tara, samahan niyo ko sa ating Quarter 2, Week 1, and welcome to the world of earthquakes and faults. Siyempre, ito ang aming module na ginagamit. Ito ang Quarter 2, Module 1 with the topic Earthquakes and Faults. For our Quarter 2, Week 1, the most essential learning competency is Explain how movements along faults generate earthquakes. Kumbaga, dito natin malalaman sa episode na to kung paano ba ang movement ng alam na tatating faults kung, pa, kung saan sila ay nag-generate ng earthquake. Here are the some of the reminders. Number one, take the pretest prepared at the beginning of the module. Number two, take time in reading and understanding the lesson. Follow instructions carefully. Number three, use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment. Number four, try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in the lower grades. Number five, be honest. When doing the activities, record only what you have really observed. Number six, Don't hesitate to ask. If you need to clarify something, approach or contact your teacher. Number seven, take the post test prepared at the end of the module. And number eight, you can check your answers in the activities, self-assessments, and post tests. Now, we can now move on to our pre-test. Let's start. Here is the directions. Read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Let's begin. Number one. What is a crack or break in the lithosphere that can shift and cause an earthquake? Is it letter A, epicenter? Letter B, eruption? Letter C, fault? Or letter D, focus? Are you done? So let's see the answer for this question. The answer is letter C, fault. Congratulations! Now, number two. How will you describe the movement of the walls in a strike-slip fault? Is it letter A, moving sideways? Letter B, pulling the side apart? Letter C, pushing the side together, letter D, pushing and pulling the sides. Are you done? The correct answer for this question is letter A, moving sideways. Congratulations! Number three question, what type of fault is illustrated in the picture? Is it letter A, normal, letter B, reverse, letter C, strike slip, or letter D, transform? Are you done? Let's see the answer. The answer is letter A, normal. Congratulations! Number four question. Which of the following geologic features is an example of a reversed fault. Is it letter A, Anatolian fault? Letter B, San Andreas fault? Letter C, Himalayas mountain? Or letter D, East African rift zone? Are you done? The correct answer for this question is letter C, Himalayas mountain. Good job! We can now move on to our last question for our pretest. Earthquakes happen along a fault line. Which of the following is not true about fault? Is it letter A, 
it can be found on land. Letter B, it is where fault cyclone starts. Or letter C, it can be found under the sea. Or letter D, it is a break in the Earth's crust. Are you done? Let's see the answer. It is letter B. It is where folk cyclone starts. Congratulations! Now, let's move on to what's new. Here is the directions. Identify each of the figures below whether it is represents strike slip fault normal fault or reverse fault based on the given descriptions below. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? Let's go. First picture. Is it a strike slip fault, normal fault, or reverse fault? Let's see the answer. Correct! The correct answer is a reverse fault. Second picture. Is it strike slip fault, normal fault, or reverse fault? Correct! It is a normal fault. Third picture. Is it a strike slip fault, normal fault, or reverse fault? Correct. It is a strike slip fault. Congratulations. Now, do this. All right. So, did you know that earthquakes is caused by a certain movement just like where you're snapping a fingers? Going before the snap, you push your fingers together and sideways. Since we are pushing this together, there is certain friction. At this point, when you push sideways hard enough to overcome this friction, your fingers move unexpectedly, discharging energy in a form of sound waves that set the air vibrating and travel from your hand to your ears while you hear the snap. The same process goes in an earthquake. Stress is in the outer layer of the earth pushes the sides of the fault together. Parang yung ginamit natin or yung ginawa natin kanina nung tayo ay nagtipitek. There is a grinding over the surface of the faults holds the rocks together so they do not slip promptly when pushed sideways. In the long run, there is a certain pressure that being developed. And then, the rocks slip, suddenly releasing energy in waves that make a travel through the rocks to cause the shaking that we feel during an earthquake. So, ano nga ba ang earthquake? Ito yung pagginig ng lupa o yung pag uh, uh, shaking of the surface of the earth. No kung saan bakit natin nararamdaman yung earthquake o yung paglindol sa Tagalog. Dahil dito ay nare-release ng energy na nanggagaling sa kailalim-ilalima ng ating earth surface, which yung tinatawag nating earth's lithosphere. And of course, yung energy na nare-release na yon habang ito ay lumalabas or nagyayanig, there is a certain friction na nagaganap. At ang friction na to ay nagkakos ng faults. Ano ba yung faults? Ito ay yung thin zones of cross blocks of rocks. So, pwede siyang, ito ay humahaba. So, pwede siyang humaba ng centimeters to thousands of kilometers. So, Pwede siyang vertical or pwede rin naman siyang horizontal. So, pwede rin itong mag-expand. So, it might reach possible out to the Earth's surface. So, ngayon, yung mga faults na to ang nagsisilbi or nagkakaroon ng crack within our surface. We have three types of 
faults. The first one is the strike slip faults. Gaya nung nakikita nyo dyan sa video. So, strike slip faults are rocks sliding past one another on a horizontal plane with little to no vertical movement. So, kumbaga, ganito po. Ganyan. Ganyan ang strike slip faults. They are sliding. Ang ating second type of fault is normal fault. Okay. There are two blocks of grass layers pulling apart. Extending the cross into a valley, thus creating a space. Pulling apart. A normal fault has the upper side or hanging wall appears to have moved downward with respect to the foot wall. The basin and the range province in the North America and the East African Rift Zone are two notable districts where normal fault is spreading apart each or earth's crust. And for our third type of fault is the reverse fault. Gaya nung nakikita nyo dyan sa picture. They are also known as the thrust faults. The slide, one block of cross on top of the another. Reverse faults. These faults are normally found in the collision zones where tectonic plates push up mountain ranges. For example, yung Himalayas at saka yung Rocky Mountains. Again, reverse fault. Pumatong yung isa. Now, let's move on to our activity. The direction. Analyze the figure number three below to help you decide on the safest city you want to reside. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. So from this activity, we have six cities. The city A, city B, city C, city D, city E, and city F. Okay. So doon po sa makikita nating straight line, Ito yung tinatawag nating normal fault. The second one, yung reverse fault, yung medyo magkakahiwalay na linya. Again, reverse fault yon. Kapag transform fault naman, ito yung dot dot na magkakasunod. Okay? So, now, ang sabi dito, let us decide kung ano ba sa mga city na to, sa anim na city na nakikita nyo dyan sa screen, kung ano yung pinaka-safest city na pwede tayong lumipat. Alright, so for the question number one, which cities are along the normal fault? Is it letter A, city A, city B, city C, city D, city E, or city F? Let's see the answers. The cities along the normal fault are the city A, city B, tsaka city E. So kung makikita nyo po natin dun sa picture, di ba, merong straight line na dumadaan sa mga cities na yon. So those are a normal faults. For the question number two, in which city is the safest place to build a house? Is it city A? City B, City C, City D, City E, or City F? Let's see now the answer. The answer is City D. Bakit? Kasi dun sa anim na city na pinipresent ko po sa inyo, siya lang yung walang presence ng normal fault, walang reverse fault, Tsaka wala rin transform fault. So, ibig pong sabihin, walang nagaganap na pagyanig or walang nagaganap na maaaring uh, paggalaw ng lupa. Kaya, siya yung sinasabi nating the safest place to build a house. Ngayon, i-apply naman natin ang inyong natutunan kanina sa discussion by answering this type of activity. Fill in the blanks with the correct term to complete the statements. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 
Let's begin. Number one, blank are the faults form when the hanging wall drops down. What is that? The correct answer is normal fault. Number two, blank are the faults form when the hanging wall drops up. Let's see the answer. What kind of fault is that? The correct answer is reverse fault. Number three. What are the faults have walls that move sideways, not up, not down? Very good. The correct answer is strike slip fault. Number four, blank is the shaking of the surface of the earth resulting from the sudden release of energy in the lithosphere. Ito yung pag-shake. What is that? The correct answer is earthquake. Good job! For our number five, here are the thin zones of crushed blocks of rocks. These are often in centimeters to thousands of kilometers long. The correct answer is fault. Congratulations, everyone. Nabilang yung ba yung tamang scores mo? So, dahil jan, pwede na po tayong mag assessment. Ready? Read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Ready ka na ba? Tara! Let's start. Number one. It is a stress along the outer layer of the earth causes the buildup of energy. What prevent the rocks from releasing this energy? Is it letter A, bending of rocks? Letter B, vibration of rocks? Letter C, friction of between rocks? Or letter D, energy released by rocks? Let's see the answer. It's letter C, the friction between rocks. Second question. Why do earthquakes occur frequently in Japan, Indonesia, and Philippines? Letter A, they are surrounded by seas. Letter B, they are located near the equator. Letter C, they are considered archipelagic countries. Or letter D, they are found within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Ano kaya ang sagot dito? Let's see. The correct answer for question number two is letter D. They are found within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Kaya nga, yung Japan, yung Indonesia, tsaka Philippines, madalas magkaroon ng earthquake. Number three question. What type of fault formed the Rocky Mountains? Letter A, normal. Letter B, reverse. Letter C, strike, slip. Letter D, transform. Let's reveal the answer. The answer is letter B, reverse. Number four, question. What happens to the rocks in a fault slip? Is it letter A, they stick together? Letter B, they slide past each other? Letter C, there is no movement at all? Or letter D, they suddenly slip and generate earthquake? Hmm. Kayang kaya nyo yan. So what is now the answer for our number four question? Let's reveal. 
It's letter D. They suddenly slip and generate earthquake. And for our last question, what is referred to as a fracture between two blocks of rocks? Is it letter A, earthquake? Letter B, fault? Letter C, stress? Or letter D, volcano? Let's reveal now the answer. The correct answer is letter B. Good job! Congratulations! And that ends our topic for the quarter two, week one, earthquakes and faults. Our next episode, earthquakes, epicenter, and magnitude. At dito, nagtatapos ang ating agamazing na episode ngayong hapon. Batid kong kayo ay lubos na natuto at nag-enjoy sa ating episode. Maraming salamat po sa inyong manonood, mga kabida agham. Magkita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na episode. At laging tandaan, sa agham, kayo ang bida. Ako po ulit si Tutor Marky mula sa SDO Bulacan. Paalam! <music>